Hi everyone, Murdoch here. Hope you are well. Now, I thought this would be the right time now. I've had four or five videos out this year. Been delighted with the positivity and the success of those. And kind of moving on now, I want this one to be around the subject of how to minimalize swing thoughts. How to make swing thoughts, as in a golfer feels like he's thinking of two, three, four plus things in a swing and a little disjointed into one overall thought, one overall feeling, or I like to call it a shape. So first things first, get rid of the distraction. Remember clubs are distraction, the club and the ball and hitting are distractions. So you need to simplify it away from these first. So put the club down. Now you might have done the turn drill or be familiar with my turning exercise and my plumb bob. They're my two favorite go-to without a club needed drills to do to subconsciously tell your body what it is it's supposed to feel as you maintain really good angles in the swing. The, the discomforts, the pain areas, not pain, sometimes stiff areas, areas that need a bit of loosening up. This is why you can do them anywhere. Subconsciously it will develop into a feeling. So I'm going to put a pin in that and come back to it. So as you start your day, and remember golf's groundhog day, you might have felt like you've had a brilliant round yesterday. I'm just going to go to the tee. I'm riding that confident wave. But sadly, it's not like that. You have to remind yourself again. Every day is climbing that ladder. So quick reminder, turn drill. You're doing a couple of these. Now, when you're performing these and after a while, you know what to expect. You can perform it with your eyes closed. So this is part of the stage of making it an overall shape, an overall feeling of swing, a shape being it's just a load and clear. Load and clear. That's how simple we want to have it on the first tee and for every shot on the course. So you're going to perform these now as you've got confidence from it. You're doing it correctly. You've had a mirror where the camera's set up both front on as well here, you've seen yourself, you've made your little tweak to get your spine tilt just slightly away from the target, from the hip bump, you know your knee and instep work together and the load point is on the inside. You know from visually it looks good. Now trust it, you're going to close your eyes and do it. Closing your eyes turns it all into feel sounds so silly but remember visual isn't feel visual is different you're visualizing it first to make sure it looks good now you're closing your eyes to make it a feeling and this is how it becomes a shape you're going to pinpoint where it feels the most dramatic now for most people me included you're going to feel a load area because that's a tension build up if you like tends to be right knee and instep as your right hip turns. You've already set your angle at address here, so you're going to turn behind the wall. The wall that you can simulate with the second drill in our turning through, our downswing drill. So close your eyes, keep your angles now, and you're looking through your eyelids, imagining a ball there on the ground. So hold those angles. Turn around your spine, feel the pressure and notice or feel the awareness of the left shoulder coming under the chin or, or best you can on making a full swing. This becomes a shape. I want you to think of it as wind. Wind, you're just now knowledgeable on the mechanics of the golf swing and you know your load point. You're not shying away from it now. You're thinking of a winding spring. That's your backswing. Wind. And now look down again. Keep your eyes there. Think of the left hip clear and you're kind of looking over your shoulder. You've performed the plumb bob drill, remember. Your body, you know what to expect with the straining, the pulling up this side, maybe a pinching in your right hip. And you can feel also, without the distraction of a club in your hands, load clear. You can feel the footwork. You're pushing off the right instep, propelling the left hip while keeping your angles. 
So this becomes a shape. You've closed your eyes to minimalize any visual distractions and you're now wrapping it up in a summary move. And that'll be load, clear. Do three or four of those where they feel identical, maybe five. Then store that in your memory because you're gonna clone that feeling now or use that as your blueprint, I call it, that you're marking the first practice swing with a club off, okay? So, don't need to hit a ball. You can pick a daisy head out, a, a broken tee. Something that you can address and watch as if it's the ball, but there's no pressure, remember, we don't care. We're, we're just now recalling that feeling of the four or five identical swings of load clear, added the club, and you've got your template, your blueprint now, that you're going to base it off. Load, clear. Just little swings. I've got a seven iron down the handle. Load, clear. Load, clear. Until you feel like you've struck a nice committed object with a little slither of ground afterwards so you can get an idea of the compression coming, the ball turf hit. And then you're going to do another one, copying that. Two in a row, three in a row, four in a row. So use this technique while your buddies are teeing off on the first. You've got two or three minutes to do a quick couple of reminders. Close your eyes, get the load clear feeling, commit to the daisy head, and then you're ready with a lovely blueprint template that you're going to base your swing off. And all full swings you do this way. All right, hope that helps simplifies the fluff. You don't need to think about unnecessary things. It is a look and react game. Load clear. Run with that and tell me your swing doesn't feel more simple. Leave comments down below. Any questions also, I, I'll happily answer them. And if you want me to make a video on something you're struggling with, I'll be happy to, to, to look and make one of those too. Thumbs up if you enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't. Share the video if you like. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheer. Take care. Cheers.